Okay guys, so today is going to be a short one. I'm going to show you how you can create a pop-up window and link that to a hyperlink or a button. Okay, so let's get started. Okay guys, so let's pretend for a moment that this is your website, this is your hero section, and you want to link this button here to a pop-up window. And in that pop-up window, maybe you'll have an explanatory video or something like this. Okay, so let me show you how you can achieve this for free. So we go to our WordPress dashboard, we go to plugins, I'm going to add a new plugin, and right here, search for premium add-ons. So that's the very first one here by Leap13. So install that and then activate. Very good. So now you'll find it here by the side. So click on that. And as you can see, you have all sorts of widgets, add-ons and integrations as well. So what we need basically is just one of them all together, just the one. Okay. So you go to widgets and add-ons. And if you scroll down the page, the only one we need here is called model box. So if you scroll down, you will find it right there. Okay. So this, this is the one. Okay. Make sure this is enabled. So use your toggle switch on and off. Okay. So make sure it's turned on. Once you have it on, you can go to your Elementor page and link that directly to the model box. So let's do that together. So we go to pages. So this is our home page. So edit with Elementor. Very good. So right here, as you can see, we have our button here. So we're going to remove this all together and replace that with the one that comes built in into the model box widget. So let me show you how this works. So if you go right here and type model. So there it is, model box, drag and drop. OK, excellent. And as you can see, it comes with its own button. So we can delete this one all together, you know, so browse everything. So right click and then delete. Very good. And now let's take care of this one. So click on this and right there by the side, we have all the different options. So we're going to skip those for now. So what we're going to do first is to go straight to the second uh, screen here, the trigger option. Why is that? Well, as you can see, what do you want it to be? A button, an image, a text, Lottie animation or on page load. So I suppose the most popular ones would be a button like we have at the moment or perhaps a text as well, just like this, you know. So let's keep it as a button, but these are all the different options. Feel free to choose the one that suits you best, obviously, you know. So if you go back here, you can change this. So uh, maybe uh, watch a video or something like this. Okay. And now we're going to add a little icon next to it as well. Why not? You know, so this is from the font awesome library. So right here, we could maybe look for movie or play a play button. Yeah. Play button. Okay. We go with this. Okay. This one here. Okay. Insert. Very good. So that looks perfect now. And now we're going to take care of the content. So right here, you can either select text editor or Elementor template. So I would highly recommend you use Elementor template. So first we need to create a template, obviously. So this is part of the free uh, Elementor plan anyway. So you feel free to use that one. So we go back here. Now we go to Elementor, we go to templates, and now we can add a new template. So I'll click on this. What type of template is this? So this is going to be a container and we're going to here put watch video. Okay, so create template. Very good. And now we can design the content of our pop-up window. So in our case, we're just going to add a simple video here. So I'm going to grab the video widget. So drag and drop just like this. OK, very good. And then publish. Very good. And now we can go back to our Elementor page and take care of this and link it to our new template. OK, so as you can see, select existing template. And right there you have watch video. So this is the one that we need. And then after this, you can stylize your button exactly the way you want. Just go to style and you can have advanced as well if you want to change your padding and, and, uh, and your margin as well. OK, so we're just going to keep it as this uh, for now. So let's click update and let's put this to the test. OK, so we go to the front end and let's refresh. Here is our button. Watch video. Click on this and boom, just like that, you have a free pop up window. Now, as you can see, we have the title here. You can remove that as well. So if you go back here, as you can see, you have the title and uh, you can select whether or not you want to show it. So you can disable this update. And now let's go back to the front end and refresh and then click on this again. And there you go. As you can see, there's nothing now. Uh, the title is gone altogether. There's a few more options, but everything is pretty self-explanatory. So there you go, guys. This is how you can create a model pop-up window completely free.